Headed down this creek here. You can see all the float rocks. We're gonna be uh, searching down here a little bit and uh, seeing what we can find in the way of any plaster material as well as any veins of any sorts. If there's any bedrock exposed, we'll collect any float samples along the way that we find uh, are interesting. Our first float sample here, pyrotization in quartz. There's the other piece of the sample. We're about uh, 30 meters down from where we came in to this creek. Second sample here, you have a bit of a quartz here. And a little bit of mineralization. Which is pretty common for this creek here. We're going to find some disseminated sulfides. A few more samples here. You can see the Mineralization is uh, following your schists in the rock right here. You have a uh, mica schist, little to no mineral in the quartz. It's all following your fractures in your your host rock. More pyrotization here in quartz. Similar sample to the last one, although the quartz has a little bit more mineralization in it. More float samples here. You have a very brittle and coarse pyrite, which is running with quartz. Almost has a greeny gray hue to it. Another piece of quartz here with calcopyrite. And like most of the host rock in this area, you have disseminations of iron pyrite running with. Chloritized schists. More float material. Pyrite with quartz. We have a quartz vein here, chipped away at it, doesn't appear to have mineralization. We did, however, find a sample right here that does have mineralization, same kind of host rock and uh, quartz. You can see the mineral cutting through the center. Let's hammer it open and see what it looks like. So pretty intense pyrotization, consistent with some of the other quartz veining we've seen. More quartz veining here. Right by this quartz vein here you have a little bit of an alteration in your rock. You can see the, the green here. Some epidotization with the quartz. There is still quartz in there. Quartz and epidote running through there. 
You can see all this epidote right here. Okay, so about 10 meters away from that quartz vein, you can see all your schistose rock here. And uh, amongst your schistose rock, you can see the iron sulfides. We're going to chip away a sample here. Or maybe just pull one out. So it looks like you got a uh, little bit of a vein going back in there. Let's hammer this open. So you have iron sulfides with quartz. It's about a three centimeter wide vein. Here's more. So definitely a sulfide vein. So right here, we have uh, schistose rock. This is your bedrock here. And uh, right here you have mineralization amongst your schists. Disseminated pyrite. I'm gonna hammer a little bit of this away and see if I can't find anything decent. There is a quartz vein down there, a small little one. We're gonna check that out when we get down there. You know your rocks schist when it breaks apart like this. So I hammered away a little bit and it does look like we have some pretty nice prioritization here in the foliations of your schists. Possibly a bit of uh, chloritization in uh, quartz veining in there. So we're going to take a sample, I think. Disseminated schists at the top of this waterfall right up there. Down here, close to the bottom. Again, you have more disseminated pyrite in your schistose rock, but you also have solid masses here and a decent width. If you take a look here, you got a good uh, 10 centimeter or more wide portion that's mineralized following quartz here. Let's take a look. Okay, so right there we found uh, another little mineralized area. This is a sample we pulled out. Pyrotization in quartz. Say about uh, 5 to 10 percent of the area is mineralized. Maybe a bit more in some areas. So that's what the vein looks like. And this so decently mineralized and now if you uh, take a look down by my feet that first vein we found we hammered a bunch off so you got quartz in the the foliations of your schists and you have uh, Mostly pyrite, but I've seen a little bit of uh, chalcopyrite, I think, in there. Quite a nice area that's mineralized here. So here's some of the quartz.
broke a little bit more off and here's that sample. Less than one meter away, you have more exposed here and it looks like it continues across uh, where the creek is and goes that way. Hammered a bit off from right here. Here's a couple of the pieces. Massive pyrite. So very pyrotized. And again, it looks like a lot of the uh, actual mineralization is more in your your host rock than anything. All right, so we have uh, some pretty big quartz veins coming down below that waterfall with all that uh, area of disseminated mineral. We took a look and uh, it covers about 17, 18 meters of the creek where you have up to 75% mineralization in your, uh, in your host rock, so pretty interesting. Most of the quartz veins below that if not all of them are virtually barren other than this one down here which uh, you guys have seen if you've checked out our second channel a little bit of a pyrite, calcopyrite in this one here not a whole lot but anyway that's it for the video, hope you guys enjoyed. We are down at the river now. And we're gonna head that way. If you guys wanna see that, you have to check out the next video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.